All right, so today we are going to be taking our 3D inventor part file from our dog tags, and we're going to be changing this, you know, this inventor IPT part file into a DXF file, which we can then transfer into the laser. So what we're going to do, um, we are first, we have our part file open, we're going to go to new, and then we're going to go under our drawing here, and we're going to click under ANSI inch IDW, our standard drawing format, then we're going to click create. And this is where we're going to lay out our views of our dog tag, but I want to get rid of all this stuff, my border and my title block. So what I'm going to do is right click here, and I'm going to hit delete, and that gets rid of that. Then I'm going to delete my border as well, so just have a clear page, and that gets rid of it. So now I just have one empty page here, and now I'm going to place on uh, the views of my part. So first of all, before I do that, I want to make sure that I have my proper front view selected. Um, for what I want to get laser cut or engraved. So again, um, you want to make sure that your front is selected. If not, um, what you would do is just go to click on a view. If you, let's say I wanted this to be my front view. I'd right click, set current view as front. And now this sets my current view as my front view. Now I'm going to go into my drawing file. I'm going to go to base and it automatically selects your front view. Um, what will pop up is this little view window. If it doesn't come up automatically, you'll have to search for your file right here, and you can search under your U drive for your file. Um, it needs to be one-to-one, -one, and you want to have, you could probably have hidden line removed. And you're going to click OK, and that places your front view here, and I can drag this up to the top corner. So now I have the 2D front view of my dog tag. So now that I have this done, I'm going to go File, Hover Over Save As, and then click Save Copy As. I'm going to save that as name right here. And then the file type, I want to save it as a DXF, right? It might not go to there automatically, but I want to save it as a DXF file format. And then I want to go to Options, and I want to select, see how it automatically selects AutoCAD 2013. I want to select 2010 DXF. Okay, then I click Finish. Click Save, should save it to your U drive. I've already saved it. I want to place it, yes. So now I have that saved as a DXF.